there this is Angela welcome to my channel the woodland gardener or welcome back thanks for stopping in this is another one of my weekly garden updates although this one's kind of short because I didn't do too much in the garden this weekend there wasn't too much going on um, it's been pretty chilly this weekend so I didn't really get anything new in the ground I did have my corn pop up so that's good and some of the beans have sprouted and other than that, I think like a large amount of activity is going to happen next week. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Hey there, it's Monday, May 3rd, and I decided to go ahead and get a bunch of my tomato seedlings in. So they're going mostly in grow bags. That's what I'm working on tonight. And then some of the other ones, I'll have to just find places here and there to tuck them in. I ended up getting 13 plants in. So that's one of each variety that I have. We're still very much in like grief mode from losing our Trixie dog last week. And it's gonna just take some time and trying to move along with some activities and keep ourselves busy and take our mind off of things. Cause you can only feel sad for so long and then your brain just shuts shuts off because you can only, you can only take it for a little bit and then you need a break. So this helps me get that little break and take my brain off of it and get something done. I haven't put cages around all of these yet because I think with these smaller grow bags that I've recently got, the seven gallon ones, I'm not sure if most of my cages will fit in there because they're pretty wide diameter. Uh, they were made to fit over the top of five gallon buckets. So if those won't fit, I'm gonna have to figure out a plan B and maybe just use stakes and then tie the tomatoes to the stakes because making these cages was hard. <laughs> I have a bunch of them and that's coming from two rolls of concrete reinforcing wire and that stuff is so hard to work with. It's I don't relish the thought of making these again, even though they do make the perfect tomato cage because they're sturdy and they're tall, but I'm gonna try to avoid having to make any more of those. So that's gonna be it for today. Tomorrow I'm gonna come back out and put some fertilizer, just a slow release all purpose fertilizer um, in each of the grow bags and then use the shredded leaves for a mulch. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight and I'll probably be back out tomorrow. Hey there, it's Tuesday, May 4th, and we've had a lot of rain today and I don't think it's done. I'm kind of taking a little break to step out and see how the garden's going after all that rain and see if any of my seeds have popped up. It looks like the rain's been good for these boro beets. Little seedlings are growing, getting big and I've got some bean seeds coming up. I love seeing the little seedlings pop up out of the ground. It's so cool. This one here, oh, it's really firm. I don't want to push it too hard. That one is dragon tongue. And I have another one, gold rush, that's popping up. I saw that one yesterday. So that one should be standing up right on its own here soon, I think. And so far, nothing yet with all my corn that I've planted. I wouldn't think that would take so long to sprout, but maybe it does. It's been a couple of years since I've grown it and I can't quite remember. And all my tomato seedlings that I got in last night are looking good. They've gotten, I watered them in pretty good, but I'm sure they're loving today. They got a lot of rain and it's overcast, so it's a good time for them to get settled in without sun beating down on them yet. So I'm really happy about that. They look good. One thing I didn't do last night when I got them in, because I was kind of trying to hurry, was to add some fertilizer, which I will do today, and then add a good thick layer of shredded leaves to act as a mulch. So I might be back out here a little bit later today and check in again when I get that fertilizer on the tomato plants. Otherwise, I'll be back tomorrow. Hey there, it's Wednesday, May 5th, and I'm just out here in the garden checking on things. Haven't done too much in the garden because we are expected to get a cold spell 
uh, starting like last night and the next few nights will be pretty cold so I'm gonna hold off getting anything else in the ground so I'm just kind of checking on things and seeing if any new seeds have popped up and how everything's doing in this back bed right here where I planted a couple of bush beans it looks like one of them has sprouted two it looks feels like there's two of them so I think I put this is Jacob's cattle and I had planted for all my beans I had planted two beans per hole or whatever just just as insurance in case one of them didn't germinate Yeah, tomatoes are still looking good. The ones I went ahead and got in early just to see how they would weather with this cold snap coming up. And I have a, a lot of extra seedlings. So I have some to experiment with. And the cabbages are looking good. Looks like you can see them pretty well through the netting. Yeah, they're looking good. I think this netting, knock on wood, is doing the trick. Not a whole lot of other changes. The leafy greens like spinach, kale, chard, collard greens, mustards, those are still very, very small, but they're growing. All the rain we've had lately is definitely helping with that. And nothing's coming up in my, my pots here. I've got fennel and black cumin in there and I don't see anything popping up and then over here I've got some hyssop and I don't know that might be something there I'm not sure we'll have to play it by ear yeah there's another one yeah maybe th maybe that's them <laughs> we'll just have to see And my five little cabbages here in this front bed, they're not doing quite as well. I got those in a lot later and it looks like something had started to munch on those and I ended up having to yank a few of them out and replace them with some spares that I had. But I don't know, at this point they're so small, I'm not sure if they're gonna amount to much. So we'll let it play out and see. And if, if they don't, I can always put something else there. So I do a lot of vegetable gardening, no doubt, but my first kind of entry level into gardening was with landscaping and shrubs and flowery kind of plants. So I still try to keep my hand in that too as I continue to try to improve the property and how it looks with the landscaping. So over here, let me flip it around. I have some Solomon seals growing and these are beautiful and they produce these little tiny hanging blossoms, the little white flowers like going all along the, um, the stems there, but they do tend to flop over. So I had to put some new stakes in to kind of strap them and keep them upright a little bit so we can appreciate the flowers. They like shade, which is why they are here. I'll kind of zo zoom out a little bit. So they make a like a backdrop to the bench there amidst all the ivy, which I will cut back this year. It's getting out of control. It's something I have to do every couple of years. And my ferns are growing like gangbusters again. They like the shade, just like the Solomon seals over, over there. And this cool rainy weather, that's right up their alley. And I've got a lot of weeds in here. You're doing some serious weeding and cutting back of the ivy. You can see my coral bells tucked in there too, and I don't want the ivy to take over those. So that's it for this week. Thanks for hanging out with me this week. And until next time, this is Angela signing off with the friendly reminder to get out there and play in the dirt.